You're watching Fishing Saskatchewan, brought to you in part by The Fishing Hole. Get hooked at The Fishing Hole. North Sask Farm Equipment, Highway 16 North Battleford. Come see us for all your recreational and agricultural needs. And Alumacraft, built by fishermen for fishermen. Hey folks, we're lucky enough again to have uh, joining us Neil Hughes from the Saskatchewan Rough Riders as a special guest here on this edition of Fishing Saskatchewan. We're out here in Last Mountain Lake. Neil, this is your home water. Yeah, um, my grandparents grew up on a farm uh, a mile, lake from, uh, mile from the lake up north here and uh, my parents both grew up in this area too as well and yeah, it's pretty special to be able to, to come out here and fish with you guys and, and fish with Tom here. And that's unreal. We were just setting it back up, and he hit. Yeah, and it, it pulled, all of a sudden the clip went, and the flag went up. I'm like, what's going on here? It fell out. Like, no, I you did that by accident. No, I thought <laughs> so. It sat for a second too, but just let him have it for a second, maybe, and then pound him, huh? There we go. Now he's on. Quite uh, a dream come true for me, believe it or not. I was I was just super excited when I heard you guys uh, were wanting me to come out again. Well, we're uh, we're really happy to have you, and it's been I mean it's been good. You like I said, you grew up fishing this area um, basically your whole life, right? I mean not just Last Mountain, but the whole kind of south area of the province. What are some of the other favorite places to go? I like to go uh, to the Fort Capel chain out by uh, Catepolis, where I've had a lot of a lot of luck out there and. Um, I've taken my, my six-year-old daughter Callie out there fishing and she just loves it out there. So um, I got a lot of family that live out in that that, uh, that that area. So I like to go out there and fish with family. And, yeah, yeah, that's lots of fun. So uh, I'd imagine with a busy, yeah, busy schedule through the football season, you probably spend more time fishing on the ice just because of time available. Oh yeah, for sure. I got I got tons of ice fishing here and. My wife's getting a little perturbed at it, but <laughs> but it's uh, you know it's it's one of those things where uh, it's like uh, it's, it's a good healthy disease to have. There you go. Oh, that's not a bad one, huh? Hey. Look at that. <laughs> on the ice one. rigger, on the ice rigger. Got him right in the corner of the mouth, huh? Look at that chunk of belly. So, what would you say uh, your favorite species through the ice? Anything. I'm, I'm happy with anything that comes out of that hole. Whether it's a perch, a cisco, a burbot, pike, and you know those big walleye and the big pike, those are those are definitely bonuses for sure. Weldon in the green away challenge, he he got the big fish of the day. Yours was a really close second. How do you think Weldon would do out on 18 inches of ice? Oh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He's from down south, the deep south, and he uh, he he wouldn't be out here. You know, I've I've uh, I've asked some of the guys, and one guy actually wants to come out is Ray Williams. He wants to come out and do some ice fishing, so I said I'd take him out this year, and he's pretty excited about doing it. The season uh, kind of wrapped up pretty well for you guys. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I still I'm still uh, flying on cloud nine. I can't really uh, believe that's kind of surreal for me. I can't believe we won the Grey Cup at home, and yeah. it's uh, it's definitely a dream come true for a Saskatchewan-born kid, and. And I know even for the Saskatchewan fans, it's a dream come true. So to be a part of it is just, it's pretty cool. And I, I just, I can't really put my head around it yet. And you, did you think when you were playing the game, did you think that uh, this short a time afterwards, you'd be sitting on 12, 14 inches of ice, ice fishing? I was hoping I would. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping right after the Grey Cup, it would drop to minus 30 for a week or two. And we would be out here driving on the lake ice fishing and pretty much exactly how it happened. It worked out. Last Mount Lake is located in the south central part of the province. It's a very popular destination for ice anglers from all over North America. Last Mountain has a fantastic population of both pike and walleye, as well as 
Perch, Burbot, and Cisco, making it a fantastic destination regardless of what species you're after. About a week before we did this trip to Last Mountain Lake, a cold front had moved into the area and caused extremely low temperatures. Unfortunately, the weather didn't break before we got there and the fishing was rather tentative and the weather was really cold. We focused primarily on pike and walleye on this trip. For the pike, we mainly used smelts and herring under tip-ups and ice riggers. For the walleye, we used a variety of jigging spoons baited with minnows and when we could, perch or cisco eyeballs. While we caught a lot of walleye on the jigging spoons, we also had great luck for perch, cisco, as well as small pike. One technique we used that really produced walleye was jigging a larger flasher jig or rattling jig in one hole and a smaller jig fished slowly in a hole nearby. The larger presentation did a great job attracting fish to the area, allowing us to pick up a good number of fish on the smaller baited jigs. Small fish, but... Well... It got me to gasp. Yeah, well, I heard the gasp, so I gotta go over there and help Ted out. Well, okay. Ah, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is activity, that's the main thing, right? A little bend in the rod there. In addition to Neil Hughes, we are lucky enough to be joined by two friends, Ted Cockwell, local fishing personality, and outdoor author and host of Tom Gruenwald Outdoors, Tom Gruenwald. Today's ice anglers need to be efficient, and HT offers a huge selection of premium ice tackle designed to meet virtually every application. Whether you fish bluegills, crappie, perch, stocked trout, whitefish, walleyes, pike, or lake trout, HT has what it takes to make you consistently successful. Nothing beats ice fishing, nothing. How's it feel? Not, not much. It's running, but it doesn't feel like much. Cool. Nice. Right, nice little walleye. Here's Fishing Saskatchewan co-founder Terry stepping out from his normal role behind the scenes to ice a few fish. Yeah, here, I got you. I got you. Nice hook set, eh? Perfect right through the top lip. That's a beauty. Not a real aggressive bite, but took a few swipes at it. Yeah, this guy trying to show off. He's going barbless. We're we're not on a we're not on a barbless mandatory lake, but it's not a bad idea to go barbless. I mean, it's it's a safe thing, and it uh, it helps release the fish. It is head back up. Just came through. There you go. He's got he's kind of noosed there on the front. Yeah. Oh, he took that chatter spoon again, huh? Chatter they like there. that. They do like that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, he's just wrapped. Bingo. There we go, look at that. Well, they sure are fun though. You know, a lot of people overlook jigging pike, I think, too. You know, when you're out, you're doing this uh, walleye thing. Yeah. You can, you can actually catch quite a few pike uh, jigging. It doesn't have to just be tip-ups. So while your tip-ups are set, hey, take an extra line and do a little jigging. And there you go, perfect, perfect. Right on. All right, great stuff. Dodge. I think this is going to be a Cisco. Oh, look at that little walleye, right off the hop. Boy, he sucked that in too. That was a real good hit. That's a good sign. Get that guy back in there. Just like that's how it's supposed to work. I dropped my jig down. I got a mark right away. Brought it up maybe six, eight inches. Chased up really good. Hit super hard. Perfect hook set. I mean, it was a little guy, but encouraging. And it was, I mean, it's nice when it works like that. We've had a couple of days where it's been, the bite's been off a little bit. And it's a little bit frustrating watching them come and look at your hook and, and swim away. When it goes like that, that's a real good sign. I think the, the bite is going to be on today. I think we're going to get a bunch. Oh, big old. It's not that that was your, just your drop. Just drop. Wow. Good stuff, hot hole. 
And I can get that out for you again. It'll come out easy. Yeah. Beauty. Good job, Terry. There you go. Yeah, good job. Nice beauty hit. I won't take long. Beauty. Hi, boy, Terry. I just got a glimpse. Pike, yeah. I think Vig is probably being pretty generous, but it's a pike. Not bad. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> 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 that just came right untied, man. Why'd you let me tie your knot? Yeah. You know what I was doing there? Yeah, you're digging it. It's hardcore. It's really common. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. You were digging that pretty uh, pretty aggressively? Yeah. I uh, was about to put off the bottom, just really digging it hard. And this fish just came right off the bottom aggressively and just, just hammered it. So you didn't have a mark on the screen when you started that, eh? No. That's a good way to call them in. You know, anything you got, especially the, the profile on your spoon, the size of it and everything like that, oh, yeah. you got good flash on it, uh, good size, good action. Yep. That's going to draw fish in from a ways away, especially a place like this. It's not really known for having the clearest water. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to work. I just joking around with you guys. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, done this and it works. <laughs> Next thing you know. I'm glad we got his head in the hole before that line broke. Oh yeah. Yeah. Broke off right at the hole. Okay. Well, let's free time and get another one. Not turning. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to season six of Fishing Saskatchewan. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Stay tuned for season seven when we bring you angling adventures from all across the province. Until next time, we'll see you on the water. Fishing Saskatchewan, brought to you in part by The Fishing Hole. Get hooked at The Fishing Hole. North Sask Farm Equipment. Highway 16 North Battleford. Come see us for all your recreational and agricultural needs. And Alumacraft. Built by fishermen for fishermen. <laughs>